day one of my map making journey got off to a pretty bad start. But in my spare time since, I've been watching more videos on modeling in Unreal Engine. So I'm feeling a bit more confident that I can make a really good clean house map for the Ready or Not community to enjoy. If you haven't seen day one yet, it's going to be worth a watch, especially if you think of making your own map. At the very least, you're going to learn from my mistakes. There's going to be a link in the description, and I'll put a pin up here or here, whichever side it is, I can't remember. Having watched hours of videos, I've now got a good idea on how to model this map. But first, I need to look. Today, Junior! But first, I need to plan out the layout and how it's going to look. So I get Call of Duty Modern Warfare downloaded again and launch the clean house level so I can have a playthrough and make my floor plan. I made sure I got into every nook and cranny I could. Even when the AI team blocked my path at the basement level, I found a way to get down there and have a Your look window, around. I recorded the playthrough so I can have a look back as many times as I needed and opened up the photo editor and started drawing out a floor plan. Once I had a floor plan finished, I was ready to fire up Unreal Engine and start putting it all together. When I first launched my map, it was pitch black. I'm not sure why, but it seems the light that was initially provided when I put in God Sky was no longer provided. So I'll just put in a directional light for now, even if it's just a temporary fix, or I'll adjust it later to mimic the moonlight. I deleted the multiples of the walls I placed last time, and I decided I was going to use a door blueprint to work out the scale of the building. Then using my newfound knowledge, I started shaping the external walls. In one of the videos I'd watched, they placed boxes where they wanted the windows and doors to be, then made them subtractive to make the holes in the wall. So I carefully placed all the boxes where I wanted the windows and doors, then I went looking for the option to make them subtractive. And able to find it, I rewatched this video by Alex J, and realised I used the wrong type of box. I had placed cubes from the basic tab, but I should have used boxes from the geometry tab. Now I had to place these boxes over the cubes, delete the cubes, and then I was able to make the boxes subtractive. Ta-da! Next step was to add a roof. I started with the sides, used subtractive boxes to make the slopes, but as I was doing this, I noticed some gaps in the walls. So I started fixing that, which caused problems with the roof that I just started. Half an hour later, I actually had a roof on the building. Now it's time to get the first floor slash ceiling in place. It took me quite a while to get this right, again without sticking out the sides, but once the first one's done, it's as easy as copying and pasting and then just moving it up. But while I was trying to scale these ceilings to the right height, I was struggling to see what I was doing in these pitch black rooms. So I threw down some temporary light in. I'm hoping that when it comes to adding permanent light in, that I'll be able to switch them off from a power box outside, which is something I saw in real sources blueprint tutorials, so that's going to be sick for running an MVG mission. Once I made it up to placing the attic floor, I realised there wasn't going to be enough room to walk around up there, and placing a door for scale confirmed it. I had to play around editing the roof again to fix that. Once the roof was finally finished, I thought I'd add some chimneys to add a little bit of detail. The next logical step is to add the stairs and the internal walls. I start trying to place a staircase, but it's not looking right. My head feels like it's going to explode again. So, it's time to call it a night. Time spent today, 6 hours. Total time so far. 11 hours. Day 2 has been a lot more productive. We actually have a shell of a building now. My knowledge of Unreal Engine is slowly improving. Hopefully soon we're going to have a great new map to play on. But what do you think of the map so far? Do you think I've got what it takes to finish it? Let me know down in the comments. There's also a bunch of useful links in the description if you're thinking of making your own map. If you haven't already, make sure you've liked and subscribed. You can stay up to date with this project and all may have a great tactical content. The plan for day 3 is to get some internal walls placed. Somehow test the map to see if it actually works. I'll put day 3's video here somewhere when it's ready. Or why not check out one of these videos? See you in the next one.